Hi, and uh, carrying on from the theme of uh, working in Quarto in our studio, we are in this tutorial going to look at how to interact with R essentially. So we've touched on this in a previous tutorial. We saw that in Quarto you can uh, introduce code chunks into the document and these are like little windows into R. So you can write R code into those code chunks and then when the document, the Quarto document is rendered, that code gets sent off to R to be processed and the results of that code uh, ends up in your Quarto document. So we're going to carry on working with the Quarto document that we were building up in all the previous tutorials. So uh, look back at those if uh, you uh, want to see how we got to where we are. So to start off with, we are going to create a new section where we're going to write some code. So I'm going to, in sticking with the, like the really poor puns, I'm going to call this I am datum. It amuses me. Um, and we're going to put a code chunk in there. I've used the keyboard shortcut, which on a Mac is Option Command and I. Um, can't remember what it is <laughs> on Windows, uh, but you can go insert code chunk R. If you're on Windows, it will it will tell you up there what the what the shortcut is. So we've got a new code chunk, and um, to begin with, let's just think or uh, let's just have a look at how we communicate with R, the kind of, you know, I guess the sort of the, the structure of the syntax that we use. So when we're talking to R, uh, basically every communication we have generally has a similar format uh, made up of three parts. So it will start typically, um, most people write their code this way around, uh, it will typically start on the left hand side with the name of something that you want to create. So that could be you want to create a data file. It could be that you want to create a variable. It could be that you're creating a statistical model that you're saving into memory. But basically what happens on the left, whatever you write on the left is the name you're giving to an object that you are going to create. So on this slide, we're going to create an object called iron underscore maiden in keeping with the theme of these podcasts. And you can use pretty much whatever names you like. Good idea, in my opinion, to always just stick to lowercase letters because R is case sensitive. Uh, you can't use spaces. I mean, technically there are ways that you can, but don't. Uh, so uh, using underscores as hard spaces, um, you know, gives you sort of nice readable uh, object names. There are, you know, other, other kind of styles that people use, but uh, using underscores and lowercase is consistent with um, kind of uh, what's recommended by the tidyverse people and it's certainly what I use. Um, so you're creating that object and you need to, to give R some instructions about how to create it. So the instructions come on the right hand side so that's all the stuff in green and we're using a function. Uh, the function is called C <laughs> and we'll talk a bit about functions in a minute but essentially we're using a function to create an object. So the, the function C basically collects things together. It's sort of like putting stuff in a box or stuff that's the same in a box. So here we're going to put some names, which because names are all the same, they're all text, we can put them in a box using C. And we're going to put the name, the first names of the band members of Iron Maiden into our, into our box. And we're going to label that box Iron Maiden. So that's basically what this piece of code is doing. So the instructions on the right hand side say collect these names together in a, uh, not in a literal box, in a, in a sort of computing box. <laughs> now the, the sort of arrow thing in between is known as the assignment operator. And what that's doing is that's saying um, assign the stuff on the right hand side to the name on the left hand side. So what we're doing here is saying create an object, Iron Maiden, and the arrow is sort of saying create it from and then everything on the right hand side of the arrow tells it how to create that object. So let's actually do this. If we were in a code chunk, so in our code chunk, write the name of our object, I made, we're going to insert the assignment operator, that arrow thing, uh, which you can either type it out or um, it's good to, this is one of the short keyboard shortcuts it's really useful to know. On a Mac, it's option minus uh, on Windows. Uh, 
I don't know. <laughs> it's probably like control or alt minus. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to use our C function and that Adrian. So notice as we put the, uh, the, the first quote in, RStudio automatically puts the second quote in for us. So that saves us having to type it. Um, Bruce, Steve, Nico, and uh, the other one, Yannick. Okay, so now we've written some code. If we execute this code by clicking on the green uh, arrow, just to make sure that it's working, we can see what it does. Now notice over in the, the R console, that code's kind of been blasted over to R and R has executed it, but nothing seems to have happened. But in fact, it has. If we have a look, if we pop up our environment pane, our environment now contains an object called Iron Maiden that we've just created. So you can use the environment pane to sort of see what you've created, what's currently live in your environment. If we want to see this object though, we have to tell R that we want to see it. So we'd have to type the name of it. Now if we, by adding that line, we, we, the two lines of code here now, the first one creates the object, the second one says, can I have a look at it please, or show it to me. So now when we click it, it's created and it's displayed underneath in the, uh, the Quarto preview. So you can use that to check that uh, the, you know, the object contains what you're expecting it to contain. But you maybe don't want to print this out in Quarto, so you would maybe get rid of it again. A shortcut to doing that, if you're just if you don't actually want it to print in your Quarto document, but you want to have a look at it, is if you highlight the code that you want to execute, and then press on Command Return, which is probably Control Return on Windows. Not sure. Um, it 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 will execute the bit of highlighted code, and then. Um, you know, that then won't render in your Quarto document. It's just a way of kind of having a quick, quick peek. Uh, 